Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. Today, it's mail call. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to freaking get my knives. All right. So I got two packages. These are both from White Mountain Knives. I know what they are. I don't, I've never seen any of these except for one, but we'll get to that. All right. My unboxing knife for the day is the Civivi Odium. Here comes my child, so let's hope that he knows how to stay quiet. All right. First, a Civivi. All right, let's see what this guy brings to the table. I have maybe two on the way. Which ones are these? I don't... Ah, uh, oh, I might save that one. I'm going to save that one for last. So this second one is the is a QSP. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the QSP bag. <laughs> All right. And holy crap, that thing is freaking huge. All right, so this is the QSP Phoenix. Decent out of the box action. No up and down, no side to side. Again, look at that. Out of the box, nothing done to it. The centering is dead center. Let's check the fit and finish on this. Make sure there's no issues. Deep carry pocket clip, that's nice. Ampidextrous has got that. I love this blade shape. And this knife is interesting. It's interesting nonetheless. And I didn't think I would like this like two-tone that it's got on the blade, but I kind of do. So this is the QSP Phoenix. I believe this was approximately 40 bucks, I think it was. So I got these from White Mountain Knives. They sent them to me directly. So we can assume this is the highest quality control that they have. It's That's a joke, by the way. I'm not that pretentious. Just a little pretentious. All right. And the next box, so that Phoenix was cool. Uh, Honestly, that Phoenix, just holding it in hand, the reason I was able to put it down so quick is it's probably my least favorite uh, QSP that I've felt this far. But it's just so kind of just large. So in this box, we have another Civivi, and we have a Steel Will. This is my first Steel Will knife. I am super excited about this one, too. Let's save my two excitement ones for last. This one is a knife that good old Brian, that slicey dicey, kind of talked me into buying. Not personally, because that's not how we roll, but the silicon. Yeah. Uh, but watch one of his reviews. So I would love to be like, yeah, it's slicey. He told me to get this because I had to get it. You know, we're cool like that. Nope. Don't know that guy. This. Wow. Okay. So this is the Civivi Ortiz, I believe it is. Awesome action, typical Civivi action out of the box. Blades dead center. The fit and finish for this guy is pretty nice. I don't see any issues. Deep carry pocket clip, typical Civivi. Now, the reason that he kind of talked me into getting this after watching his review, it's not so much what he said, although this knife is pretty awesome. It's like standard, straightforward, no frills, just cool. Uh, do the job. It's a little fidgety. Um, you can definitely spidey flick it. The You can do that with the flipper tab. Let's see if we can fail it. Wow. Okay, okay. Let's try one more time. All right. So we can't fail it, but you have to try to fail it. All right. So let's move along here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Civivi Ortiz. Well, I, I didn't get to the reason that he talked me into buying it. So watching his review of it, he literally like was going through everything. This is a great knife, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, all right, cool, cool, cool. But what, what really got me was the price point. This is the first Civivi that I've known at 39 bucks, like before any discounts or anything. So I... I was like, holy crap, besides the fracture, right? So I was like, all right, I really got to try that out. Mainly because I could use it as like a filler knife when I get something else. 
So this is a steel wheel. This is my first steel wheel. This is a new steel wheel. And they haven't caught my eye, but I also haven't been looking too hard. This one, when I was looking, caught my eye. It looks a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I'm, I might just be deceiving here. So first and foremost, it comes with a secondary pocket clip. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, okay. This is the Steel Wheel Sedge. This thing's pretty cool. So this is a G10 liners, probably an aluminum backspacer here with the lanyard hole. Fit and finish is great. So this is coming in with uh, a phosphor bronze washers instead of bearings, hence the reason the action's not as great. But you can definitely get in there with your thumb, and most of these thumb holes lately I haven't been able to. It has no flipper tab, I don't think, right? No flipper tab, and I love that because it keeps it nice and sleek. That detent is kind of sticky so far, but I'm sure that once I break this in, part of the reason I wanted to get this too is this is at the like $68 price point, but I really, really wanted to get like an assortment of budget knives that are just coming out because I am going to do a budget knife of the year. And so it's only fair to give everybody a free shake at it when I get a chance. Last but not least, this one's the exciting one. Hence the reason I saved it for last. Oh gosh, it's a Civivi. Typical Civivi hardware. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. So, as you guys know who have been watching my channel, I did a quest for King Civivi. The Civivi Dogma took the cake. And look what we got to replace the dogma. A beautifully done Damascus on the blade. I'm assuming it's 9CR18MOV. The handle is a mixture between carbon fiber and an, a white underlay of G10. Nice deep carry. Oh, man, guys. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I just fall for Civivi again? Because Civivi kind of lost me, but, ooh, ooh, not to be weird, but wow. And, and just this carbon, or just this Damascus, look at how beautiful that is. So, and they did not cut out the fuller. This fuller is, is a different model of the Damascus. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. It's the light. So as you can see, this fuller isn't cut out, but it works just as well. Well, as you do that, um, the action on it's great. Can't I can get my thumb in there? That's cool. Oh man, this thing! I am stoked on this guy. If this is a guy that I wasn't thinking I wanted to carry, I just kind of wanted it because it's the King Civivi, and I kind of want to carry this now. Whoa! Whoa! shaving the plastic this is just me playing at this point oh boy all right so we got the qsp phoenix the savivi ortiz the savivi dogma and the steel wheel sedge these were my two most exciting knives that i was excited to get in uh there i'm i i honestly am equally excited for the sedge i want to get to know it i'm not as excited as i just said equally but i'm not as excited as the savivi uh dogma but I'm excited for the potential that this guy has because this feels great in hand and it's on phosphor bronze and I don't have enough of those. Boom. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. This was an unboxing video. A huge one. I was super stoked. These all came early and it was like, bam, thanks White Mountain Knives. That's all I got for you guys. Have a great freaking day.